What is up guys, my name is Deft and welcome back to some more Dark Souls 2. Heading in here to face the Spideys. Typically if you like pretend you want to open that door, it'll bring that last one down. Otherwise, it'll just stay up there to try and ambush ya. They don't seem to be very aggressive at the moment. And yeah, maybe they didn't all notice me. That'll only make things easy for me. Did you drop something? Yes, you did. Oh, I'll take that great scythe. Cool beans. Yeah, these guys may, may be some pretty big spiders, and they may be a little creepy and crawly, but they don't hit all that hard. You can kind of just hack and slash your way through. Just be wary of your health bar. And to this, we won't get the key till until we beat the boss. Which is coming up later this episode. Just you wait. This way he's got an item. Got some homeward bones, cool beans. And then here, got a little ambush. But also the way forward. Come here. Yeah, right, yeah, I didn't. I kind of wanted to let him walk out, but he's rather slow, so you know what? Why not? Let's. It's alright to have my sword, you know, hit the wall a couple times. <laughs> Running out of durability, but luckily I bought myself some uh, repair powder before I made this journey. So, I can use that if I need to. Let's see. I know we've got at least an item or two inside uh, pottery around here. But now, have any, have any ideas what the boss is going to be? <laughs> it's uh, not too difficult to guess. Anyway, watch out from above. Watch all. Get ourselves a torch. Add to that torch time. And I think here we are. There's at least one item. Got ourselves a lock stone. Let's see. Can drop onto this web, right? Yep. And head on down to here. And I saw that item, don't think I didn't. Let's see, we can just yeah, drop right down. Climb my way up. I saw you. Don't think I didn't. Yeah. I think most of the spiders down here come from that big center web. So, uh... Let's see. Let's use a life gem. So, yeah, I haven't lost all that much health and I want to regain it. See, I got a bunch of them on this, this web here. Not sure... If they come out upon us climbing it... I mean, we were able to grab that item, no problem. So I guess they uh, come after you when you climb it. I'm not sure where their line of sight is. Alright. Now let's get that item up here, and then we should be good to go. Let's see, there's one from there, one... Yeah, there's a couple up there. Come here! Yeah, definitely gonna need that repair powder after this. There we go, Radiant Life Gem. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Alright. Well, we should be good. Except for this guy right here. He ain't sneaking up on me. Oh, man, dude. Wherever you came from. Well, okay. So! Here we are. Time has come. Now, I've, I learned via one of the episodes that, well, the episode that I lost where I faced the boss, I uh, I gave my weapon a little a little resin jab. You know, one of these. But uh, by the time the cutscene was over, <laughs> uh, the, it had already worn off, so I'm just not going to use one. I don't really need one. I think this boss is pretty easy. Anyway, it may not look that much, but uh, you guys tell me.
Ladies and gents, the Duke's dear Frasia. Now, the little baby spiders will kind of spawn endlessly. Ugh. So, taking them out will only uh, waste your energy. Unless they're like a direct threat to you. And yes, this, this giant spider has two heads. But that honestly kind of makes it easier. I mean, granted, you can only hit it in the heads, but, you know, it's got two heads. And it likes to attack with one at a time. Now, I'm gonna try and heal here. Ooh, watch out when she gets stampy. Yeah, pretty much my strategy ugh, is just switch off on attacking the heads, you know? Attack one, trigger an attack like that, and then switch to the other. Get a few hits on that. Thanks. Yeah. Sort of when, when she goes for a jump or something, the, or if you want to heal, the safest place to be is in on, on the side. Because not only are you between her two heads, but also most of her legs are on either side where the heads are. That's sort of your safe spot for healing or recovering stamina, etc. So yeah, I just switch off between attacking each of the heads. I'm doing quite a bit of damage with each hit. With just my raw falchion here. Yeah, I ain't, I'm gonna try and learn that. I'm gonna try and add that to my vocabulary. <laughs> and not uh, continue mispronouncing that. Now that I know it, I can sound smart. Yeah, nothing, nothing new, really. I mean, it's essentially a circle strafe of sorts. Yeah, just sort of trigger an attack on one side, then uh, switch over to the other. Though she does some attacks that uh, come from both sides. Yeah, like when she spits that nasty acid stuff or whatever. Or when she's feeling stampy. That affects both sides. Come here! Alright, I don't need to heal or anything. Let's just gather our bearings, I suppose. Get a hit on you. Ooh. Luckily, I have my shield up for that. Ooh. One more. One more hit. Boom! And just like that. Now, the spiders don't run away after you beat, after you beat their mama. Now, did I get the soul? I got, yeah, I got her soul. Where is it? Oh, no, I didn't. Unless... Oh, soul of the Duke's Dear Frasia. Huh. But anyway, the, the great soul comes out, and you have to pick it up over here. I guess they're separate. I guess her soul and the great soul, per se. Yeah, they're, they're separate. Huh. Well. Huh. Yeah, that's that's a little odd. Now, let me, let me check this out. I haven't actually examined any of these walls for hidden passageways. But I, I kind of doubt it. These, yeah, these don't seem like the walls where there would be secrets behind. But yeah, so you won't even be able to make it to the end of the game. Well, actually, you can make it to the end of the game without her soul, but it will be significantly harder. Now, I haven't done it with that, so I can't exactly say how much harder. All I know is that uh, that's what you're told by, uh, like, the Emerald Herald or either that or a, a, a pop-up when you go to the, to the next area that requires all the great souls. Anyway, we got ourselves the Brightstone Key to uh, that cathedral where all the spiders are hanging. Fragrant Branch of Yore and a Dark Quartz Ring plus one. Now, we got one more baddie before the fire, so uh, be ready. Don't get too cocky, but... Just just a, just a little question. Do you think this guy looks familiar? Well, he does to me. This is Vengarl's body. And he's not too difficult. I mean, they put him after a boss. But if you, you once you get behind him, he's pretty easy. But from the front, he can he can hit pretty hard. What am I doing? His armor is pretty good. 
I mean, granted, not as just slightly less good elemental resistance on a few different areas, but good physical damage resistance. His gloves aren't as good as the Drang Lake ones, so we're going to keep those on. And uh, boots are just about the same as the armor. And I mean, granted, you don't specifically need the, the most armor of sorts, really. I mean, a lot of people enjoy playing Fashion Souls. <laughs> Which is essentially just uh, just going with whatever armor you think looks the coolest, because it doesn't ultimately matter as long as you know what you're doing. But for this playthrough, I'm sort of just going to show how to do things nice and easy. And uh, so I'm just sort of giving you the best sets that you can, you know, that'll give you sort of the best protection and still keep you under 70% weight so you can still fast roll. That sort of was my strategy going in. Now I sort of play dress up a little more. Now I sort of go with the armors that look the coolest and stuff but uh i think in making the uh, main story the easiest going with for uh, armor with good physical resistance will will make things easy so anyway we're back in majula now and uh, we're gonna rest because our weapons are still damaged and i am going to level up and uh, when we get back i'm gonna we're gonna let vengarl know that we've slain his body and also use that fragrant branch of your in the same spot. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of recouping and then join ya when uh, I'm back in the, uh, what is it, the Shaded Woods? Yeah, Shaded Woods at the Shaded Ruins. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2 and I hope you'll be joining me next time. But until then, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'm out.